Hello and welcome back to my learning block. I'm so glad you're here. Today we're going to work on a new concept. Um, I'm glad you're here, like I said before. And this concept that your child is working on is a fun one and one that they really get to, to show off in a in a lack of for a lack of better words. Uh, we're working on addition, but with multi-digit numbers, but we're not regrouping yet. Check out another video if you want to check out regrouping if your child is doing this process perfectly fine. Um, you can check out the regrouping later on, but this is going to be fun for you to learn. All right, so we're working on addition with multi-digit numbers and we're going to use the algorithm, all right? Now, what the algorithm represents is a set of steps. Your child is ready to understand the steps to doing this procedure. So far, you're already at a point in which you're able or your child is able to understand the concept of addition and what it means and what it means to add multi-digit numbers. But now it's time to go through the process and the process could be tedious, but thanks to you coming here on my learning block, it will not. Now, let's go ahead and get started. Again, like I said, your child is already at a point in which they understand the concept of addition. Uh, you checked out the video using the place values, which looks similar to this, you know, where we say, all right, we have 342 and we add them together and it'll come out to 475 right, because you just add each object together but now we're at a point in which we want to focus on the process we want to use the algorithm to know step-by-step -step methods to how we add multi-digit numbers without regrouping and regrouping is just carrying that number regrouping your tens and your hundreds and your thousands ten thousands etc all right so Let's take the number 342 to 133, all right? Like I said earlier, understand the concepts. We kind of did it already, but we want to work on the algorithm. Now, when your child's working on this algorithm, what you want to make sure is your child understands, and this is how I work with my students, that with regards of reading a book, we read generally from left to right. But with regards to reading math, math, math problems and with regards to reading these type of algorithms, you want to read from right to left. All right. So I say start from the right, work to the left. All right. It's, it's kind of a reversal of the whole idea of, of education, if you would. I mean, generally, we're used to working from left to right, but now math is right to left. So make sure your child understands that because once they start working from the right to the left, then more complex things such as multiplying two digit numbers becomes a little easier uh, as well. But we're going to start off with 342 plus 133. Now, again, if we're working from right to left and you see I have it highlighted in red, it's a simple uh, addition problem. It, we right here truly have three different addition problems in one, three different simple addition problems in one. And the first one we have is two plus three. Now, two plus three, very easy. Your child has developed strategies because you've helped them and they have an excellent teacher, of course. But two plus three equals five there so we take our five and our five is now in the ones place now then we will go to the next one and we see four plus three but in reality we know and you want your child to realize that instead of four plus three it's really 40 plus 30 but really they're just going to focus on the four and the three because we already have a five in the ones place and 40 plus 30 or four plus three equals 70. Now our five, like I said, is already in our ones place. So we're going to leave that alone and we're going to bring the seven over here to the tens place. So we have seven, four plus three, 40 plus 30, 70, bring over the seven. All right. And so we're good there. Now, lastly, we're going to focus in this hundreds place again, this is not just three plus one. This is actually 300 plus 100. And the answer would be 400 
but we already have our five in the ones, our seven in the tens, and we just bring this four over here. So the answer you get finally is 475. Now, this is great, and your child is now at a point where they will be like, yay, I can do these problems all the time. But you want to get them to a point in which now they can work it in reverse, so they can check their work. So I always teach this simultaneously with my students to check their work. All right, so if you have, and I'll write in red right here, 475, you say 342 plus 133 equals 475. Well, then you ask your child to prove it, and they can prove it using their flats, rods, and units, or they can prove it by working it in reverse. So they will take 475 and subtract 133. And if their answer happens to be 342, then they're right. So 5 minus 3, and we're going to work the subtraction algorithm. Check out that video simultaneously. Trust me, it's very good to work these two concepts at the same time because your child's now checking their work. And in both situations, they're not really having to regroup. So it can really be beneficial. So 7 minus 3 equals 4, or 70 minus 30 equals 4, and 400 minus 100, or 4 minus 1 equals 3. And that number is the same, that number is the same, that number is the same, completing the fact family, thus giving your child power in addition. Thank you again for joining me on my learning block. And don't forget to swing over and check out some resources so you can start testing your child or assessing your child right there at home. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Adios.